The element that we can see in both A and B. And one of the elements is 2. Another is 3. Now let's do B intersection A. Instead of the same thing, we see our 2, 3. So in, therefore, A intersection B is equal to B intersection A, commutative law. Now the other one, A union B. Also, A union B is just writing the total element together. It's like A is 2, 3, 4, 6. Union, your B is 1, 2, 3, 5. Now, if you are writing these two elements together, it means a set that contains the element in A or the element in B or both is the union of the set. So, the first one we have one, we have two, both, so we we'll just write one. Without repetition, don't forget. Now we have three, but we just write one of eight, three. We have it four, then five, six. If you do the other way around, B union A, which is one, two, three, five, union two, three, four, six. We think it was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, A union B equal to B union A. So that is the commutative law. Commutative law. We have talked about the idempotent law and commutative law. Now, the associative law. The associative law then goes thus. We have the associative law. Now, suppose we are having, like we are having A, set A, B, and C. Now, if we have set A, B, and C, operating, let's say we are operating on union and intersection. Now, we have the union in this way, A, union B, bracket, union C, to be equal to A, union, into bracket, B, union C. Set to be associated. Or, we have it this way, a intersection B intersection C to be equal to A intersection B intersection C. We have in this way, that means this is the associated property that they are. Now, you can have it this way. Now, if, if, if you can you can test it by probably having a um, okay, let's say suppose example now. Example, we still use the same figure for A, B. Now suppose we have a C. Suppose let's just take the first one. Suppose C is equal to one, five, seven, nine, eleven. Then A union B as gotten here is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, A union B in the bracket union C will not be equal to this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Union, our C is what? 1, 5, 7, 9, 11. Now, Union means we write all the elements together. Now we have one here. Yeah, one is there, so we just write only one. Then we have two, we have three, we have four, we have five, we have six, we have seven, we have nine, we have eleven. That's for A union B union C. Now, for the other parts, B union C now. We know because what are B? Our B is okay. We have our B to be one, two, three, five. Union RC. 1, 1, 5, 7, 9, 11. So, we write them together. We are having 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So, what's now our A union to bracket B union C to give us our A is 2, 3, 
two, three, four, six. Union one, two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. So we write them together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eleven. So therefore, this is equal to this. Therefore, A union B bracket union C is equal to A union B union C. So you can try the other one. Or we still the same process. We if we try the intersection. It's still the same thing. So that's the associative property of the sets, the set theoretic, uh, the, the set theoretic uh, operations. Now, let's go to the other one. The next one. That's the associative property. We talked about the idempotent law. We talked about the commutative law. We talked about the associative law, the idempotent law, the commutative law, the associative law. Now I want to go to the distributive law. Distributive law. If you have, we are still dealing with uh, set A, B, and C. Now distributive law. That is the fourth one. Distributive law. We are still dealing with A, B, and C. Now, this is the law says, suppose we have A, B, and C in this form, like A union B intersection C to be equal to, if you have this A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A union C. Or you have it like this, A intersection B union C to not be equal to, to be equal to, a intersection B union A intersection Dijon what? Intersection C. Yes, you are right. Now, let's prove this. We still use the same example. We still use the same example to prove that. Now, um, from our example, We want to examine this fact. Let's see how we can examine the fact. Now, first of all, our B intersection C will not be equal to our B is 1, 2, 3, 5 intersection. What's our C? Our C is 1, 5, 7, 1, 5, 7, 9, 11. So our P intersection C is talking about the common element between B and C. So let's see. One is common, right? One, two, three, no, not common, no. then five. So one and five is the common element. Now, A union B intersection C will now give us what's our A? Our A is 2, 3, 4, 6. Union 1, 5. So this will not give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Good. Now, that's our left hand side. Let's see the left right hand side. If we are going to get the same thing. Now, our A union B. Is equal to our A is two three four six two three four six union our B is our B is one two one two three five thanks it means you are following. Now 1, 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 4, 6, union 1, 2, 3, 5. So equal to, we write the two elements together. We are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 
Now our A union C equal to our A two three four six and our C one five seven nine eleven. So this one will give us one two three four five six. Seven, nine, eleven. Now, let's now find the intersection of the two unions that we got gotten. They are intersection. Now, we want to find their intersection and we want to see what that will give us. Now, our A, A union B. Intersection A union C will now be equal to the result we got from A union B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Intersection 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 11. So this will not be for what the common element between the two. So definitely the common element is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Good. Now look at the result we got from A union into bracket B intersection C. It's the same thing as the result we got from this. Therefore, we now say A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A. Union C. So this is the distributive law, distributive property, or a set. So you can check you can the other one. That's A intersection into bracket B union C. If you go to A intersection B, close the bracket, union to bracket A intersection C. It will still give you the same result. So now let's go to the that's the top first one. Let's go to the fifth one. And that has to do with the identity law. Identity law. Now, it's just simply, these are the identity laws we have. That's the fifth one. Identity laws. Let me just tell you the, the simple identity that we have.